This video will show you how to set up a new Apple Airport Wireless Base Station, also called the Wi-Fi Router. Unplug the power cord on your current cable or DSL router while you set up your new Apple Airport Router. Also unplug and remove any existing wireless router you are replacing. Connect the power cord to the Airport Router and plug it into a wall socket. When the amber light starts blinking steadily, go to the Wireless menu in the menu bar and select the airport time capsule from the new base station section of the menu. You could ignore any other wireless networks your computer may see from your neighbors. The airport utility will open and let you set up your new router. Depending on the model of airport base station you are setting up, the icon may look different. You will need to give your network a name and a base station a name. You can use the defaults suggested or you can enter something different. You will also need to create a password for your wireless network. This will prevent anyone else from getting into your network and possibly accessing your files. Passwords must be at least eight characters, but more is okay. A mix of upper and lower case is also good. You will need to enter this password once on each device that connects to the network. Type the password into both the password and the verify fields. A red arrow will indicate if the passwords don't match. You will need to retype the passwords until they are the same. Click the Next button to continue the setup. You will then need to connect the Ethernet cable from your Internet router into the Airport router in the WAN port that has a circle icon. Next, plug in the power cord for your Internet router. Wait a few moments for the power to start up and then click the Next button. The setup will continue and create a new network. Click the Next button. When the setup is done, you can click the Done button. Setting up the Apple Airport router may take a few moments, so please be patient. When the setup is done, your airport router will now be connected to the internet. And you can close the airport utility. You can then connect your computer to the wireless network you've created from the airport menu. You will need to type in the password that you created when you set up the router.